No job is over. Hmm. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this gathering. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am greatly sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. A reading from the book of Sirach. My child, perform your tasks with humility, then you will be loved by those whom God accepts. The greater you are, the more you must humble yourself, so you will find favor in the sight of the Lord. Many are lofty and renowned, but to the humble the Lord reveals his secrets. For great is the might of the Lord, but by the humble he is glorified. When calamity befalls someone proud, there is no healing, for an evil plant has taken root in them. The mind of the intelligent appreciates proverbs and an attentive ear is the desire of the wise. The word of the Lord. <laughs> The response to the psalm is, In your goodness, O God, you provided for the needy. In, goodness, in your goodness, O God, you provided for the needy. Let the righteous be joyful. Let them exalt before God. Let them be jubilant with joy. Sing to God. 
Sing praises to his name. His name is the Lord. Be exalted before him. In your goodness, O God, you provide for the need. Father of orphans and protector of widows. Is God in his holy habitation? God gives the desolate a home to live in. He leads out the prisoners to prosperity. In your goodness, O oh God, you provided for the needy. Reign in abundance, O oh God. You showered the Lord. You restored your heritage when it languished. Your flock found a dwelling in it. In your goodness, O oh God, you provided for the needy. In your goodness, O oh God, you provided for the needy. So 
said also to the Pharisee who had invited him, when you give up a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers and sisters or your relatives or rich neighbors in case they might invite you in return. And you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the cripple, the lame, and the blind. And you will be blessed because they cannot repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. So, as you certainly have gathered, I'm not a priest, and uh, there's this problem with the humble and all that stuff, considering that I'm in the front, and uh, I don't really feel I belong there. I prefer to be in the back just like Jesus suggests. Be at least pleased with the fact that we will have a priest next Sunday and afterwards too. This is just a problem for this week. We, we weren't able to find one this time around, but normally we should be able. I don't fortunately have to do this too often and inflict it on you. This text is rather interesting in many ways. One in the fact that if we look at it cash-wise, we're supposed to make sure that nobody can repay us for what we do to them. Because then God is on the hook and he said he was going to pay a hundredfold. So it seems to me it's a good financial deal to think of further on towards the resurrection of the righteous. Well, that one's one point which I think is rather interesting. The difference between what Jesus suggests and what is normal. What is normal is you invite your friends, they invite you, and you're all on an equal footing. But what Jesus suggests is you make sure the others can't be paid so that it goes into the heavenly back where you're having to pay under the ball. So, it's a very different approach to what we're used to, the way we think. And it's thinking about the future. You remember a few weeks ago we had that parable about the fellow who said, well, I'm going to break down all my barns and build bigger ones. And then he says, are you fool tonight? you'll be dead. He was thinking about providing for, him, for himself in this life. We have to think about providing for ourselves in the afterlife. <coughs> and that's a rather different attitude, it seems to me. So, I mean, how you do that in practice, of course, it's not that obvious in many cases. But certainly, if we all look after each other, we are on that way. But look at 
at each other without thinking that they must give something back to you. That's to be something which is gracious. Is that the word? Gets uh, me You don't expect anything in return. And when you, you, you think about that, it's quite humbling, I think, that uh, you see, what am I going to do? How am I going to do what Jesus suggests? How am I going to apply it in my life? And, and I, how am I investing in my future, the real future? Because to live, Afterwards, the afterlife. It seems to me that, that what does that mean? Thank you for accepting this kind of service. We will proceed with the remembrance of Jesus' sacrifice that we can do. We will then proceed to communion. So a lot of the parts of the Mass are going to be done, except, of course, the obituary, all the way to the end of the Eucharistic prayer. That, you need priests and no priests. So we're very well talking about the priesthood of the laity, but it's not the same thing, and you know it as well as I do. So, let us continue praying together, and uh, we will now go to the creed. We will have a prayer of the people. We will have a hymn during the time of the collection. Thank you. 
response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, working to be a sign of humble service to all, we pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world leaders, called to work for the better of the all, we pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who live in poverty and whose lives are not valued, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For openness to the Holy Spirit in this community of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our parish family and among our loved ones who are ill, suffering, or in convalescence, especially Carol Demo, Shirley McCardle, Clarence Masqueradus, John Henry, Monica Balad, Bobby Squires, Maria Malorni, Margaret Malone, and for Father Joe Sullivan, we pray to the Lord. For our own personal and private intentions, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us ask Mother Mary to join us in our petitions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins now and in the hour of our death. Lord of all creation, through you we can share. 
share and drink this cup of wine, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Our Lord then added, This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be shed for all for the forgiveness of sin. He also urged us to remember these actions and words until he comes again by the admonition. Do this in memory of me. This is not the only thing we must remember. We must never forget that Jesus gave his life for us all, was crucified, suffered a terrible death on Good Friday, but rose from the dead on Easter Sunday, and now lives forever. We must never forget that Jesus told us that God is not only His Father, but also our Father, that we are all to love each other and everyone, just like he, by giving himself up for all. We must let God our Father make us like his beloved Son by this partaking together of the bread which is his body. We must also never forget that we are an active part of the church on earth. And so we pray. Pope Francis, for our bishop Christian, for our priests, for each other in this congregation, in this parish, in Eve, for everyone in this whole world, <coughs> whether friend or foe, good or evil, we must always give thanks for God's love for us families, our friends, and all the world. Before we receive communion, let us say all together that prayer that Jesus left us. So with one voice, <coughs> let us proclaim our heart. Light of heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done. done. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, to your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, all my sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commands. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
just want to thank you all very much. Appreciate it. And it's appreciated by all the uh, recipients, including, well, not including, but especially for these back to school projects. So I just want to say thank you on behalf of the whole community. Thank you. May I point out that this goes straight into my sermon about the sermon about finding finding in giving to people who can't give back to you and putting your money in heaven's back. There is uh, an op another update. Unfortunately, Pierce was unable, Pierce Corsi, was unable to undergo the scans this past week as he had a terrible cold. Mm. The tests have been rescheduled mm. for September 16th. Please continue to keep him in your prayers. Mm. Now we have no anniversary, but we have quite a few birthdays. On the 28th, which is today, we have Joan Aiden, Bobby Squires, and Angie Laclaire, who are celebrating their birthday. And on the 31st, we have Tony Secondo, one of our wardens. And uh, that's that. Is there anybody? None of those people are here, I think. <coughs> so, have a safe and wonderful week ahead. Seven, one, nine. 